Craig is telling us that the media is evil today. Pop culture is psychological warfare. Just pop culture. Popular culture. You've been my favorite heel turn in the history of the platform, says this comment. The story you constructed over years and years was brilliant, and I'm very glad you didn't hang it up after the armored mask came off. Keep up the great work. Hope you're doing well, my man. Heel turn? All right. Hopefully this video is good. Pop culture is psychological warfare. What parts of it, you think? Who knows? Celebrities are not your friends. Popular culture is not designed to... I'm friends with some micro celebrities and like one real celebrity. Personally. For you, popular culture is a psychological weapon that's used against you. We have to stop following trends we see in the media and stop doing what the media tells us to do. <laughs> what media is telling you to do stuff? Uh, we have to stop doing what the media tells us. Fucking rage against the machine. Most of those influencers are not good people. <laughs> he sees a commercial and he goes, Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And he's just like, <laughs> Buy Zyrtec. No! <laughs> like buy McDonald's. I will say, Taco Bell ads, give me a hankering. It works. Well, to begin with, <laughs> and most of those media outlets that platform those creators are designed to sell you propaganda and hide the truth. Together with this relationship between the influencer and the media outlet, the entertainment industry serves as a mass social engineering device. In this series, I'm going to prove to you that the mass media is a psychological operation designed to manipulate us. And I'm going to prove that <laughs> celebrities are engineered person- All celebrities! Every celebrity is an engineered personality, Greg. Every single one. That's just fucking too complex. That is just too complex. You need to understand how capitalism works, my dude. There are some celebrities that are like, you know, people are chosen to be famous sometimes. They're like, oh, I can market this person. Boy bands, fucking uh, K-pop is a, is a very uh, popular example. Uh, you know, he thinks Taylor Swift is a psyop for sure. Uh, celebrity in and of itself cannot be forced, though. Like... We just, we just like what we like, man. Personalities designed to either sell you. What's a happening with your mouth? Lie or distract you from the truth. Has he always pinched this side of his face before, or am I losing it? He's doing, he's doing like a thing with. His, I don't... In fact, a lot of your favorite artists are not even really artists. They're just the face of a product. They're brand personalities. That's true some for of the some of them. Most famous singers don't use their own voices, and some of the most famous actors don't really show you their real face. Their real face? Do you mean like makeup or something? Like, <laughs> uh, he's mad at Millie Vanilli and actors having makeup or something? Man, I don't know. <laughs> Who is this? This isn't a famous person. I don't see the harm. I said I want your body now. Wait, is this Britney? So, Britney can actually sing, but she did a bad job here. <laughs> Have you. We've heard Britney Spears sing. Selimus. <laughs> Their entire <laughs> Yeah, man. It does feel gross. So like they're you're using technology to isolate vocals on a live performance of a person. Uh, who actually recorded you like actually recorded in studio the vocals for all those songs? Live performance is different. If you're not as good live, that's whatever. Who cares about Britney Spears? Britney Spears deserves peace. Okay, you, <laughs> I don't know why you're dr trying to drag Britney. <laughs> Her careers are willed into existence by the thing he's using to say it's not real itself is not real, right? Dedicated team. They removed all the bass from her voice. Of manipulators bent on spinning. Sh 
Because they have to isolate the music out, and of course it's going to affect the voice. In the gold. And the problem has only become worse today, with social media driving most of the population into some form of parasocial delusion. Before so <laughs> Greg has no uh, delusions. Celebrities would only really dazzle us on television and in the theaters. But now you've got The Rock right in your pocket. Huh? He's looking right at you and telling you he loves you. The connection is so much more invasive today. It feels more real. It's affecting people on a much deeper level. It's almost- Do you mean- do you mean specifically parasocial aspects of it? Like celebrities have always- John Hinckley exists. He's out of prison now. Uh, we can't all be short change heroes, Gerg. That's true. We can't all be. Only Gerg can be. Almost like we're all in the Truman Show now. Everyone around us is actors, and the people that aren't actors are just playing along because they think that that's what reality is. But one of the scariest aspects of the entertainment industry is that a lot of the celebrity drama that you see drummed up in the news mm -hmm. is intentionally orchestrated <laughs> to generate a specific type of attention <laughs> specific type of attention are you causing us to have a parasocial delusion are you causing it corn man i am it is a parasocial delusion i i like each and every one of you mostly i'm sure i'm sure there's one of you in there who's the who's the most hateable person in chat one of you i probably don't like statistically but most of you i think are pretty dope Nope, I like you. Nope, I like you too. And you, and you. Uh, and you, 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 and you. I'm just <laughs> let's do this for now. Personal <laughs> events like family dramas and relationships can serve this purpose, sure. But even it's the filthy lurkers, that's right. Monumental events like big book releases or iconic shows will be planned months in advance to coincide with world events. Celebrities are weapon It's crazy. Silly Moss, thanks for following, dude. Uh it's uh crazy that you think that like knowing schedules is insidious yes they they produce content in scheduled f f forms to coincide with world events yeah like uh i covered candace owens getting fired today because she got fired today you know like now that's a story. Now we're talking about it today. That's pop culture, baby. I mean, it's just culture. It's just regular culture. <laughs> pop culture is just culture, by the way. Uh, there's an aspect of marketing and insidious uh, capitalist intent in here, of course, which you don't analyze whatsoever. Weapons of mass distraction. Anytime the media is telling you about something that a celebrity did, <laughs> the question you should be asking yourself is, what? I actually think schedule. I know you're, you're joking. Schedules are communism and that's evil. I confirm. Uh, I actually think schedules are definitely capitalist, right? Like, we all think of the schedules you keep, unless it's like an interpersonal thing, like a plan or something. I mean, it's straight up just capitalism. How do you see to find celebrity? Anyone famous? What kind of important news in the world are they trying to cover up? Every generation Very has terms. their own iconic celebrity that they use to distract the public from the truth like this. Today, it's Taylor Swift, but they modeled her career off of Britney Spears. Did they? So she was hypersexualized and a child star, like... Taylor Swift is is a little different. I mean, obviously, people sexualize her, but like the performances for Britney Spears were sexualized. You know, like Taylor Taylor Swift has like horse girl energy, in my opinion. I think she's f like as she's aged, I've come to respect her more as a person. I don't really fuck with her music that much, but it's not for me. You know, I'm I'm not. <laughs> can Can you believe that Taylor Swift isn't writing music with me in mind? You know. Taylor Swift's performances are, like, asexual. Right. I mean, they're talking about, like, boys. Like, I, I love boys. And men. Men, too. She's in a relationship with a man. But, like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Day, it's Taylor Swift, but they modeled her career yeah, I just off disagree of with this, man. Spears. I don't agree Britney with this. Britney Spears more or less invented the parasocial relationship. What? Craig, what are you talking about? Fucking no, man. 
Britney Spears invented parasocial relationships is the dumbest thing this guy has said in months. I don't even know what that means, man. She even used to write blog posts on her website back in the day. That was considered very innovative. Britney Spears blog posts? You should check out, like, The Beatles or Elvis or something. You should just check that out. Madonna. Fucking. <laughs> Literally any of these groups. David Bowie. Yeah. Spears was used to cover up a lot of major world events. The Bush administration seemed to love her. Over the years, she's accumulated quite the list of distractions from important news stories. But every mainstream celebrity... Is that Zoe Deschanel? Wow. Go. Why is Benicio Del Toro, Javier Go. Bardem, and the guy from The Watchmen? Are they just because they look similar? Are you just upset that they look similar? Elijah, what he, come on, what are you doing? These okay, look, do not put Natalie Portman. All right, no, no disrespect to these other two, Kira Knightley and Winona Ryder. Go. Obviously, no one's no one's saying anyone's ugly, but it's but it's come on. That's Natalie Portman, okay? This is the only this is the only one that's like like I don't know, man. We we culture did you know that people like <laughs> there's definitely an aspect of this. I don't actually don't think most of the people on here are Chelsea fucking handler, America Ferrera. <laughs> the lady she's a nurse in Grey's Anatomy. You don't even know her name. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, a guy killed a beetle because he had a crush on a famous woman. Yeah. Watching a Greg video is like looking into the mind of a 13-year-old me when I thought I'd figure out the secret adult world. <laughs> Off the top of my head, in the 19th century, Victorians were fucking obsessed with Queen Victoria and modeled so much their fashion hobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Parasociality's been around forever. 100%. Emperors used to establish, uh, you know, like, fashion trends and shit. It's totally normal. The French used to do this shit, too. Anyway, is part of the game. They all play a role. In today's video, I'm just using Britney Spears as my first example. Okay. Now, I don't think this entire game is orchestrated by a single entity that runs everything behind the scenes. Uh -huh. I think that there's a collection of different groups that all have a shared understanding about what the rules are. And I can't really tell you why Make money? exactly so many celebrities are trying to manipulate public perception. The celebrities are not trying to manipulate public perception perception what man the celebrities but i can tell you at very least that anytime a celebrity is drumming up drama in the media anytime they're just doing it to either distract you or sell you something they're either trying to generate attention for themselves or push propaganda everything that's the only thing that a celebrity can do in your screen shows you is a lie. This episode will be shocking. I have to warn you that after watching this series, you're going to hate entertainment. <laughs> I hate being entertained. True. He better he better break my brain. Brain. In 20 minutes, I better be like, "Holy fucking shit, guys." He's right. I better be. Let's all unplug from the matrix. <laughs> I took, I made a mistake, not smoking for a month. I need to, this is, I, I'm coping. I'm coping right now. When I say that pop culture is for stupid people, I'm not saying that you're stupid for liking it. Everybody loves a little bit of pop culture. I love Star Wars, I love Marvel. What I mean is that pop culture is designed to make you stupid. Uh -huh. Pop culture is designed to keep you ignorant. Do edibles count? Yeah. Maybe Greg is so boring because he hates entertainment. <laughs> if all you care about is celebrities and pop culture, and you don't care about politics, the environment, inflation, wars, and important things like that, then you your leaders can change the entire world out from under your feet, and you'll be too distracted by Taylor Swift to notice. So I can, like, watch football... And 
talk about politics. Like Taylor Swift doesn't have to dominate 24 hours of my day, you know? But if I want to pop on a little, I don't actually know even a single song. What is a Taylor Swift song? Taylor Swift. What's her most famous song? If I want to pop on a little, you have two billion fucking plays on this? Taylor, relax. Cruel Summer, is that? Let's play Cruel Summer for three seconds. Nice. See, if I want to do that and cut loose a little bit, a little T-Swifty, let me. And there are people in the mainstream media that know that this is how it works. No, they, I really couldn't think of why. Yeah, I, I, I can hear them in my head. I don't know the names of them. The love story. Yeah. That's not even close to her most famous song. It's not even close. That's crazy, actually. That's the one I thought of, but I didn't know the name of it. Damn, dude. She's fucking prolific. How many? 103 million monthly listeners. A third of the country listens to at least one Taylor Swift song uh, every month. Absolutely nuts. Great job. No. CNN. Shake It Off? I thought that was someone else. Shake It Off is a Taylor Swift song? And would be a good example. I think it is. Think about a character like Anderson Cooper or Wolf Blitzer, whose uh -huh. entire career hinges on the... It is? Wait. I thought that was like fucking... Uh... Who's the all about that bass person? Megan Trainer? I spelled Megan Trainer wrong. Is that all about yeah, all about that bass? I thought Shake It Off was that person. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I'm not a Swifty, my bad. Apologies, Swifties. I'm knowing what's going on around <laughs> the world all the time. That you guys listen if you guys show up to secret streams, you know I don't listen to that. I, I listen to the the fucking hipster shit that's their job <laughs> they would know that there's some kind of an embargo or a war with refugees dying mm -hmm. somewhere in the world you thought you said social media was was clouding this social media is filled with this social media is the only place where people get like real accurate information on people suffering around the world in my opinion Meanwhile, they'll be told to run a new story about Taylor Swift's carbon emissions or Britney Spears' new book release. Why did we hear so much about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? Is isn't that weird? Why was that even televised? Why are celebrities so important? <laughs> They're not important. Oh, man. Important is the wrong word. They are interesting. They are, like, we like entertainment. And when you know somebody, like, people like to rubberneck and they get to, they get in other people's business and they like to, what are you doing? You scurrying around over here? Your mustache listens to the same kind of music as Jake? True. Uh, so celebrities don't have, like, importance. It's just interest. I don't know why it has to be, you know, why can't it be anything but interest? Britney Spears is actually related to Marilyn Monroe, believe it or not. But a lot of these high-profile celebrities and politicians are distantly related to each other. I've got a timeline for you here today that proves Britney Spears is the modern-day Marilyn Monroe. She was the White House favorite for around a decade. But Britney Spears was running cover for the United States government for a long time. This all goes back to the 90s, but I'm going to start my timeline. You think Britney Spears was intentionally running cover for the White House? Britney? Man? Like, she was just famous during a period of time, you know? Not running cover. Like, things happening in her life that are also, like, at the same time happening during, like, fucking, I don't know, Desert Storm or something? Like, <laughs> and with bizarre coincidences starting in 2002. How is it a bizarre coincidence? Where George Bush announced the uh -huh. disposal of radioactive waste at Yucca Mountain, Nevada. That's only about 100 miles outside of Las Vegas. Well, President George Bush made that announcement on the exact same day that Britney Spears' film Crossroads was released. And everyone remembers Crossroads. <laughs> I bet he also said some dumb shit on February 11th and February 13th. Like what, man? You think George W. Bush and the White House were scheduling to say stuff around the movie Crossroads? You think people that would normally be tuned in to George W. Bush talking about, what did you call this? The radioactive waste at Yucca Mountain? You think people tuned into this got distracted by the Crossroads movie? Gonna need a little proof, man. 
Like, there's only 365 days in a year. This is so dumb. Crossroads was released. And wouldn't you know it, coverage of Crossroads drowned out any news media coverage of the Yucca Mountain nuclear waste disposal. That one doesn't seem so bad, right? Mm -hmm. Well, just wait. It gets worse. Uh -huh. Back in 2003, when President George Bush announced mission accomplished in the war in Iraq. Yeah, that totally got swept under the rug by whatever the fuck Britney Spears was doing that day. Nobody brings that up anymore. Well, that was the exact same day that Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera made out with Madonna at the Video Music Awards. Okay. So, do you think he was like... Can I do a George Bush? What's George Bush sound like? Hold on. George Bush voice. In recent decades, public confidence in our institutions has declined. I don't know if I can do George Bush. No, I can't do George. I can do sort of a George. He, he used to do this little thing where he would like laugh and go, hey, County. He'd talk about Condoleezza Rice or something. He was fun. Uh, yeah, so this was, this was just hubris. This was just hubris, man. He was handled by Dick Cheney. Why are you thinking he's he's in charge? It was Dick Cheney that was president during that time, by the way. Huge piece of shit. Once again, Brit Fool me once. Can't get fooled again. <laughs> Britney yeah. Spears overshadowed a major world event, and we all know now that George Bush was lying because the war in Iraq would go on to continue for at least another 10 years. Did it? Oh, man, I was too busy paying attention to Britney Spears to know that the Iraq war happened. I've never even seen this picture. I was too busy gooning to... What did you say it was? What happened? I was gooning. Uh, they made out with Madonna? Very hot. Major world event, and we all know now that George Bush was lying because the war in Iraq would go on to continue for at least another 10 years. Mm -hmm. Later that exact same year, Britney Spears was interviewed by CNN where they asked her if she trusted the president. Honestly, I think we should just trust our president in every decision that he makes and we should just support that. <laughs> yeah. You don't think one of her handlers told her to say that? <laughs> wow, what a dummy. <laughs> Aw, Britney Spears was a dummy. Me too, dude. I've been dumb. You know, and um, be faithful in what happens. Do you trust this president? Yes, I do. Michael Moore made fun of this in Fahrenheit 9-11, but this clip mm -hmm. has been buried today. They went on to pretend that she never said this. Okay, what, are we just anti-Britney? This is eight and a half minutes of Britney. Why would CNN do this at all? Why does the... Sounds like the political opinions of a child. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Idiot. You know what? I also had not a similar opinion, not the same exact opinion, but like my dad and the adults around me after 2001, and I'm like a kid, right? Like, I mean, that was eighth, ninth grade, something like that. Uh, and like they were... They were saying, oh, well, to to vote for a different president than George W. Bush would bring stability during war to instability during wartime. And that's scary. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. We're at war. You don't wanna you don't wanna change that. And then like also John Kerry sort of looked like a dead guy up there. He doesn't have much of a personality. Democrats, am I right? Make celebrities the social and moral leaders of our society. You, you just said that was buried. How can you make the argument that that is distracting us? It's like bread and circuses type shit if no one's seen the clip. You know? How do you how do you reconcile these two opposing, uh, I don't know, not, not like inferences, but like assertions by you? These are competing. You have no business asking a young pop star what she thinks about the president during wartime. That's why every okay. Look, man, I don't think that making a little music means that you can't have political opinions. Now, I'm not looking to Britney Spears for my political advice, nor should anybody else. Uh, but she's one of 350 million voices in this country that get to vote and talk about this shit. And she's one of the people. I don't have any problem with her saying anything she wants to say. Obviously, that seemed like a coached, canned 2002 response or three. It's really f***ed up. That's like
That was the year 2003. So they're moving into election cycle, and they definitely look for endorsements and stuff. Way outside of her scope. And in hindsight, after that same mainstream media put her through the grinder and humiliated her over the years, that makes the media look really stupid for ever trusting her with things like this in the first place. They should know that she doesn't have meaningful insights about world events. They do. They're hoping that... But nonetheless, they're interested because she was Britney Spears, man. She's Britney Spears. She's a celebrity. So someone is going to ask something like that. If it, They're going to ask about current events in an interview. You'll forget that they were the ones that told you to worship Britney in the first place. In 2000. Are you showing, are you showing her shaved head because she, you're saying that somehow because she cut her hair, she's no longer like a reliable source of information or something? For Scooter Libby was found guilty in his trial for a scandal regarding the war in Iraq. Uh -huh. Scooter was the chief of staff for Vice President Dick Cheney and the highest profile White House administration member to be declared a criminal since the Iran-Contra scandal in the 1980s. Well, at the end of the trial process leading up to the conviction, the media started blasting stories about Britney Spears' new 55-hour-long marriage with a total rando. Their entire affair began only a couple of days before the conviction process. You think that Britney Spears got shotgun wedded in Vegas to cover for Scooter fucking Libby? That's crazy, man. The people locked in on the Scooter Libby trial are not being distracted by Britney Spears. Britney Spears' fan base does not care about Scooter Libby's war crimes. You're actually fucking nuts, man. I don't know. I don't know how this is happening in your brain. And as soon as the this is the craziest thing he's put out in a, in a minute was completed, Britney Spears announced her annulment. The media is a complete f***ing joke. Later <laughs> for that year, she had another extremely sudden affair with Kevin Federline. Uh-huh, doesn't seem at all like a behavior that she's doing. Seems like cover up for Scooter Libby. The documentary they created is obviously quickly slapped together to generate drama. Well, that exact- I think you mean money. ...same day, George Bush announced the suspension of a handful of pollution laws. Dude, look at the text. It's getting shorter and sh or smaller and smaller because he just needs he needs more space. The second highest ranking Al Qaeda member was shot dead in Iraq, and mysteriously, mm -hmm. some of George Bush's own records were destroyed. So Britney releases a really at between 2004 and 2005. So Britney Spears doing anything in a year is a distraction from anything else. Okay, what about the iPhone? Was that a distraction? What about what about like, you know, any of the other things that happened in two thousand four or five? What about the Detroit? Hey, what about the Detroit Pistons winning the championship? Yeah, baby, we finally get to talk about when we were good. Look at that. That's a Detroit Pistons. You better believe I was distracted. You better believe it. B -b 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 ben Wallace. That's just for me. Nobody else. Uh, Britney releases a reality TV series about her situationship with Kevin Federline. The series chronicles the couple's relationship from their courtship, engagement, family drama, and wedding. Bush also announced the suspension of some anti-pollution laws. Al-Qaeda's second highest ranking man in Iraq had been shot dead in Baghdad. Additionally, some of Bush's records were mysteriously destroyed, says Pentagon. And we missed it because Britney Spears, one of many celebrities in the 2000s. Like, what about Justin Timberlake? There was other drama besides fucking Britney Spears during this time. Many other people were running cover for the government, apparently. According to the Pentagon. Been waiting. In 2006, Troy Pistons, photos baby. of Britney driving with her children on her lap started to overwhelm the news feeds. Mm -hmm. Not only did this happen on the exact same day that the White House gave a classified briefing to a House committee on the NSA, but... The wow. A classified briefing that no one could have... It's classified. What am I going to do in 2006? I don't, I don't remember this at all. No one fucking remembers this. No one cares. These are not real distractions, man. 
Her doing things on the same day other people do things in this country is crazy. How is that? <laughs> if she would have done this the day before, you would have found the other the a briefing for February 7th. You know what I mean? If she would have done this on any day, you would have found something else. Because you already made up your mind about this. This is this is confirmation bias, man. You're trying to find red strings, and so you're looking for them. You literally are like, okay, what's the date for this? Okay, let's look at what the Bush administration is doing during this time. What were they doing the day before and the day after? You don't think any classified shit happened in the, the White House? <laughs> or the House Committee in the days prior or, or after? The public got so caught up in this story, they almost stopped they? talking about the midterm elections altogether. Did they? I don't remember that at all. I was a senior in high school, locked in on pop culture. I definitely do not remember talking about this. And only one day before the midterm election took place, where uh -huh. the Republicans were supposed to get the floor wiped with them and lose a ton of seats? Well, that was the day that Britney Spears announced that she was splitting with Kevin Vetterlein. A midterm election? You think... So, I'm not going to go to vote because Britney's uh, relationship fell apart. I'm not voting today. And instead of paying attention... Oh, that's even better. Too late. ...into the midterm elections, everyone got sad about Britney Spears. Did they? Everyone got sad about Britney Spears? The day before... Oh, so now it's the day before the midterm elections. You said out loud it was the day of, right? The day before midterm elections, in which Republicans could potentially lose 33 Senate seats and, the, and 435 House seats... 435 House seats? You mean like... State seats, too. Spears announced her split from Kevin Federline, and then people were like, fuck this! I'm no longer voting for Democrats because Kevin Federline and Britney Spears have broken up. I'm voting for Republicans in 2006 midterm. In 2007, Britney Spears shaved her head yep. on the exact same day that President George Bush announced the reformation of Al-Qaeda. What does that mean? Later that same year, she shaved her head the day that Al-Qaeda was announced to be reformed? Cool. To distract me from graduating from college, that's right. This is so actually stupid, man. The attorney general admitted that he made a mistake firing eight U.S. attorneys. And that same day, a story magically leaked into the media about Britney Spears having an affair in rehab. Mm hmm And so all the people that are on, like, you know, C-SPAN, locked into the politics, caring about Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez admitting that he made mistakes while firing eight U.S. attorneys? <laughs> Did you know that no matter what day you look at, how about this? How about I do a list of all the times that you have uploaded videos and I coincide them with political events that have happened on the same day? What is, in fact, today, it's very interesting that 10 hours ago, Greg, the, on the day the IDF bombed and murdered civilians just walking down the street, the day that the IDF had leaked footage of a drone bombing civilians, innocent people, walking down the street, it sounds to me like Armored Skeptic is part of this conspiracy, directly involved with the obfuscation of of real life events through parasocial uploads of his 7,000 view video. Coincidence, Greg? You're part of it. You guys are pathetic. 2008 is when Britney Spears' conservatorship began, by the way. This becomes a big focal point in her storyline. Going uh -huh. into 2009, it appears that the- Oh, 2008? Just nothing about the conservatorship? If she goes to conservatorship? Is that to obfuscate from the election year? The Obama administration just wanted her to be a generic positive role model. So she works under the conservatorship until about 2019, releasing albums, performing, and working residencies. Briefly, for only one year in 2012, Britney Spears was a judge on the X Factor panel. Well, the exact same day that Britney Spears announced that she was going to be a judge on that show, Palestine performed a nationwide fast in protest of their treatment by Israel. Oh. 
Wow. You think she she was covering up Palestinian protest because she quit? She joined X Factor. I like how for f- 2009 to 2019 we get we get 10 years. Bush no longer president. U.S. announces Great Recession. Uh, but we didn't notice any of that because Britney Spears existed for 10 years. Oh, and the United States also renewed their weapons contract with Baja Harain. Money, money, money. God, this is... Did you say Baja Harain? Do you mean Bahrain? Baja Harain? What are you doing? This contract with Baja Harain. Or is that a... <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew chat was going to code red. Oops. Money, money, money. God, this is making me sick. Then in- it's making me sick. You know what's making me sick? Uh, Greg's insistence that Britney Spears is obfuscating these major political events by being Britney Spears and doing stuff on the same day. In 2019, leading into 2020, as the entire world is starting to get nervous and shut down from a global sickness, Britney Spears takes a hiatus. Then, a podcast dedicated to Britney Spears, hosted by two actresses, take a phone call from an anonymous guy. He then goes on to tell the podcast audience the supposed truth about the conditions of Britney Spears' conservatorship Mm -hmm. and dirty details about her family drama. And this sparks a big response from the Free Britney movement, who then go on to create rallies around the United States, demanding that Britney Spears be released from these conditions rallies around the united states do you mean like like a what's this like fucking 20 people (laughs) the united states demanding that britney spears be released from these conditions Mm -hmm. people go on to care more about britney spears and her conservatorship and family drama than they do about this global sickness going around shutting everything down no, they don't. They really don't. You think COVID was under the, pushed under the rug by Britney Spears' conservatorship news? That was one of many things that was happening during that time. This is just misogyny, by the way. Silly, girly, pop star news is an important type of attitude. Yeah, I mean... People care more about a sad, blonde, rich girl than they do about their own neighbor. Sad, blonde, rich girl. Whoa. It's pretty fucking weird to say. On February 4th, 2021, on the exact same day that Johnson & Johnson released the first successful single-dose vaccine for the global sickness, Mm -hmm. well, that was the exact same day that the New York Times released the Emmy-nominated documentary Framing Britney Spears. Did it win the Emmy? (laughs) No, it was just nominated. Uh, So, Johnson & Johnson... Clearing the single dose COVID vaccine was definitely bigger news because no one's, I've never heard of this fucking thing. I can't believe Britney Spears has like six events. Like this isn't, these aren't events. These are just periods of time where she's existed and other stuff happened. Earlier you had a 10 year period where she existed, just existing. And you're like, yeah, well, you know, stuff was happening during the time she existed. I've never heard of this in my life. I'm sure people have heard of this. Uh, No one thought (laughs) COVID-19 was less important because Britney Spears' document. We can do more than one thing at a time. What do you do all day? Do you just sit and look at news? You're like, yeah, news is happening. I need to stay locked in on news. No entertainment. I'm never going to talk to anybody. I'm not even going to glance in the direction of Britney Spears. September 12th, 2021, Britney Spears announces a new engagement to Sam Asghari. Who? This engagement announcement comes on the exact same day that the FBI released and declassified their 9-11 documents. Wow. So, I remember the 9-11 documents. I don't remember... Britney Spears being engaged or care. Who? Omega oh, lol. Yeah, who fucking knows? Najra, thanks for calling. It's cold. They were distracting you with Taylor by then? 
So Taylor distracted me from Brittany, who distracted me from 9-11 documents. Which we look we, like people talked about that. Link in the description, by the way. And which one do you think the media talked about more? And to follow it up. The me media? Do you mean like tabloids and stuff? Do you think CNN or something like the media didn't cover this and they covered the engagement instead? You're not giving any examples. You're just like, which one do you think? Huh? Like, you're not giving evidence. This isn't evidence, man. Link in the description, by the way. Show me that there's actual obfuscation of people's attention by specifically Britney Spears from political action. Like, I do not believe that the, her audience has massive crossover. There's definitely ass... So, there is a reality that exists, and we're in it, where the United States absolutely does try to obfuscate shit that's happening that they don't want us to like really know about here's the fucking problem we know about it we know about lots of stuff it's really hard to have the internet and social media and the way people communicate now without knowing what's going on uh it's pretty hard i mean it's pretty hard to keep shit <laughs> under wraps at this point unless it's like you know top secret fucking nsa shit but like all of the things you've mentioned, the political things, these these were major stories. And which one they do you think the media saved about more? By Britney. It up, Netflix released their series, Britney vs. Spears, only a couple of weeks later. Mm -hmm. Nearing the end of 2021, Britney Spears' conservatorship supposedly Is ends. this going to go on? Are you just Britney Spearsing for another 10 minutes? But then she goes on to start posting bizarre images and videos on Instagram. What's bizarre about it? So she's doing lewds and you're like, I'm upset about this? She can do lewds? Who cares? I didn't even know this was happening. Now I do. Who gives a fuck? Now this is my favorite part of the story. Oh, no wonder. This is when the rest of the public starts to catch on that something's wrong. And people start asking questions like... Did the kitchen knife dance uh, distract you from the horrors of Palestine, Hooligan Grundy? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Def not. It didn't work! Hooligan Grundy, not susceptible to the cagey obfuscations of Britney Spears. Damn. I didn't know we had such a steely mind in chat. Congrat Someone subscribe Hooligan Grundy immediately. It is, I mean, uh, the rest of us were definitely swe swept up in the Britney haze, and we missed it. So thank you for being the one sound mind. <laughs> Why are the things... Rumblo, thank you. Have a day. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, Hooligan Grundy. What's your secret, Hooligan? How do you stay locked in like that? <laughs> We're seeing and hearing from Britney Spears not making any sense. Thank you, Rumblo. The problem is all the conspiracy theories that I've heard about this so far are all wrong. Yeah, my conspiracy theory is right, though. Give him some squirts. Of the mumbo song. You know, he just wanted to make a Britney Spears video and had to find a conspiracy to go with it, right? I don't know. Seems like something personal. He's done this before with other people. I cannot remember for the life of me. He made a video. Oh, who was it? He made a video like a month ago or two months ago, and it was all about like a person, and it felt very personal, and I don't remember what it was. I can't remember. They all run together at this point. People have correctly pointed out. Oh, it was uh, it was uh, the Star Wars one. It was Admiral Holdo shit. That they started to notice AI and deep fake technology being used on Britney Spears' Instagram account. Mm -hmm. There are a handful of videos where, in some way, the deep fake technology somehow failed briefly, where either the digital effect on the face disappears for a second and you see the real actress's eyes, or her tattoos or body markings disappear when she's dancing and spinning around. And this makes. Dude, this sound. Every time someone uh, says something about that, they, they always have like this blurry in the middle of motion thing and they're like well look the camera made it so that they don't look exactly like how they look and there was like an instagram filter on it right and so who gives a fuck man <laughs> the real fit the actress's real face do you think britney has a body double for instagram videos hmm. it's a lot of Seems bizarre extreme. behavior on the but why would but even if that were the case that doesn't make us less politically active or anything like Britney Spears is not keeping people from being woke or something. 
account make a lot more sense. Like the nonsensical captions, or that she would upload a picture and then immediately delete it and re-upload it again. She wasn't doing that because she was having a mental episode. They were testing her audience's reaction to all of the different AI-generated material. They Do you have proof of this, Greg? Like, it sounds a lot like... You're in trying to infer that every action that is taking place aligns with your conspiracy theory on this. They would then either delete this the is super fucked picture up. I agree. or video when they were done the experiment, or they would delete it when they noticed a mistake and then re-upload it with it fixed. Let's see receipts, man. Like, if you think about it, celebrities don't really tend to control their own social media accounts anyways. They usually have a whole- This is all claims. Show evidence team of people dedicated to their f***ing public image. Like, they would let someone worth as much as Britney Spears do something like that on Instagram. They would let her? She just, she just goes like this. She goes, boop, and her phone is on. She's like, oh, I'm on my phone now, doing phone things. You know how that goes. There would be a lot of people that would lose a lot of money if she just destroyed her career like that. When I was looking into this, I noticed that for a period of several she looks the same. months, Britney always had the exact same makeup, and she almost always had the exact same facial expression, and she would line her face up perfectly the exact same way in every video. These are two definitely different days, pictures, and faces. Like, that she's making, her hair's different, like, everything's different. She does her makeup similarly, but they're not the same. Like, you look like this. What do you mean? Same shit. You're doing the same thing. Look, look at you. Look at you, little freak. Same shit. Very fluffy and... Actually, that's, uh... That was a while ago, but... Here. This one. Pendency on you look the same! Look at you! I bet you'd even do that fucking thing. You do this a lot, by the way. This shit. Owning Ready? multiple. Hmm. Cringe. Cringe, Greg. Anyway, I've seen a lot of videos of you doing the same thing and looking the same. Are you the same person as yourself? Pretty fucking suspicious. And no matter how much spinning and dancing and jumping and whatever she would do, she would always quickly whip her face right back into that same position again. She would look at the fucking camera that she's holding or being near... Wow, that's crazy, man. Looking at the camera during that. I also think it's pretty obvious that the deep fake model that they created was comprised out of photos that they took from a specific red carpet event. The images match up almost perfectly. The only... The... the what? She just looks similar. She's herself. The only difference is that the eyeliner and mascara looks a little bit more blurry or melty in the deep fake. Like, if you think about it, at any red carpet <laughs> event with all the photos taken... Of she needs to shoot uh, Instagram videos in 4K for Greg to believe that they're real. ...of every celebrity, you could create an AI deep fake model of almost any of them from a single night's worth of photos. Britney also has a really distinct, huge smile, and I've never seen the deepfake version of her do it once. And they put- The deepfake version of her do it once. There's no evidence in this. He's like, by the way, did you know that Britney Spears is pretty much just entirely deepfaked? With this AI deepfake version of- Why isn't this called the Britney Spears is fake? Britney Spears doesn't exist. Britney in everything in the news in the this has been 17 straight minutes of britney spears i why is this called pop culture is a psychological warfare the media is evil if this is a britney spears video he's done this before he just hides he hides what the video is actually about the tabloids in i don't know you guys can go see if the mannequin wears different the documentaries I don't know. they even did a news piece about britney making a scene at an outback steakhouse or something outback Something using the deep fake. Well, it's not Did a they? coincidence that they would use Britney for something <clears throat> like this because both Britney and her husband at the time were invested in AI technologies and industry. Her new husband was the model for a virtual reality production where they were making him the perfect VR boyfriend or something. They were supposed to be developing it work? a game where you could program with Amy Carrera him and go on dates with him. Hell yeah. And Amy Carrera, who is also just a total deep fake. Oh, God. Well, while that was happening, Metaphysics and Futureverse partner with the creator. Is that the dude from the D&D movie? No. No, it's not. He looks a little similar, though. It's not the same guy, though. Uh, she actually has played on Critical Role, though. 
that was happening, Metaphysics and Futureverse partner with the Creative Arts Agency, CAA, to create generative AI for artists. Basically, their plan is to create an AI deepfake version of every celebrity so that they can use it as a stand-in for social media and stuff like that. Well, hold on. This was part of the labor rights issues that, like, SAG-AFTRA was talking about. So this is corporate greed trying to steal the faces of their employees to use for promotional material without paying them. Her uploading to Instagram is not part of that. This is the dumbest man in the world? Well, I have terrible news. We're going to watch Dave after this. <laughs> This is supposed to be a new form of media where anyone can build their own AI robot asset. And i just like to point out that it can't just be capitalism, right? Nope. Profit motivation? Nope. It's definitely political obfuscation. AI taking over for celebrities as our future distraction really just proves that that's what celebrities were this entire time. A useless distraction. Man, he is so bitter he's not famous. This is like definitely a man who is upset that he doesn't have fame. I don't know how it proves it. I agree. I have no idea how he's proven anything. But wait, there's more. The exact day that Britney Spears announced her divorce from Sam, there was a human rights protest in Angola over the mass illegal imprisonment of minors. And... Like before, I don't think people locked into Britney Spears' marital news, which I didn't hear about at all. I don't think that was preventing people from hearing about human rights violations in Angola. That's right. Then on October 20th, I say he's the dumbest man in the world, but we're watching Dave after this. Bravo. <laughs> Third, 2023, Britney Spears' memoir is released. The woman in me. Uh -huh. Everyone's excited. All the celebrities Everyone. are posting that they got their copy. Every celebrity. And that is a celebrity as well that I know. This is a celebrity I'm aware of and know. Does anybody know who this is? Does anybody know who this is? L. J who's who's L. James? No. E. L. James? It's not. No. Debbie. Meanwhile, this is the exact same day that Israel chose to intensify their bombing campaign in Gaza. Yeah, so we were all locked in on that, and I haven't heard about this Britney Spears shit. That's when they chose to change their attack from leveling a few city blocks to wiping out the entire northern half of the Strip. But you all had to talk about her book. Who's you all, man? You all had to talk about her book and say, Gaza, what the fuck? Who, man? Who the fuck are you watching? Who's you all? How can you be smug about this? You little Satan beard. It's driving me crazy, dude. You got to get rid of that. That's fucking nuts. Please do not do that. This is driving me crazy. Why would you shave just the center of it? It, it makes no sense. There are a few other things that she did I didn't mention here, but this is just one celebrity. You gotta remember, there are hundreds of people like this that they're using this exact same way. That is an ad hominem, sort of. I didn't mean he's wrong because of it. It just was annoying me in that moment. Celebrities <laughs> exist to dazzle you. They don't give up. I'm pretty fucking dazzled right now, but not by Britney Spears. I am dazzled by the lack of like neuron activation in your brain folds about you and celebrities absolutely do take for granted that they will remain loved by you and the public forever no matter what your, <laughs> your exchange with celebrities wampa likes the satan beard suspicious suspicious taste wampa is non-mutual <laughs> They're using you. And I just wanted to take Who's this second using to you? point out that it's been declassified that both the CIA Go. and the American military have used Britney Spears' music as a form of torture during intensive interrogation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, do you think Britney was like, yeah, use it on the terrorists? He looks like his fucked up mash with Dobby house elf and Doctor. He looks like Dobby and Doctor Strange mixed together, a little bit. 
Islands. Like, this is something that they would do at Guantanamo Bay. Also, the United States military has blasted Britney Spears music through the radio in Iraq and other occupied areas in the Middle East. Uh -huh. They would saturate Iraqi radio stations with Britney Spears music as a blanket form of mass propaganda. Propaganda. So, <laughs> so like, there's a few levels to it right like britney spears is a woman and so in male dominated patriarchal uh you know islamic countries it's like a fuck you buddy to give them an american woman who is openly like sexual a little bit that you know will be distasteful to their culture right like that's what it's about it's emasculating or something or i don't know <laughs> torturing people with music they, they did that to fucking uh didn't they do that to not noriega the fucking guy from narcos <laughs> they did that waco too yeah the fact that the united states government does this proves that they know the point of this music is to manipulate and propagandize think about it if they're using pablo escobar that's pop music to break occupied iraqis and inmates then they're using pop music to break us. Terrible pop. <laughs> I don't listen to pop music. I mean, if it comes on the radio or something, <laughs> to break us. <laughs> pop music always manages to earworm its way into your head. Does Even it? If you hate the song, if you hear it enough times, eventually like it will get stuck in there. That's why they play the song four times a day. So that it gets stuck in your head? You don't think it has anything to do with money? Okay. All right. Conspiracy theorists are weird. This would take so much micromanagement. You know what I mean? Like, the mechanisms of capitalism, Occam's razor, describe the all of these things that you're saying. And then, I mean, in, in regards to the American government, capitalism definitely plays a role, obviously, with those, I mean, especially our foreign wars. We love that shit. But, like, you know... They've used obfuscation before, but Britney Spears is not party to this. They'd play it all day if they could. Oh, this is scary. Uh, statistically, people are four times as likely to follow some form of celebrity on social media mm -hmm. as opposed to a politician or a political leader. And yep. Is it scary? I don't know if it's scary, man. That's... <sighs> So when someone goes on social media, do you think they want to follow Kamala Harris or do you think they want to follow like Cardi B for the for for to enjoy themselves on social media? You know what I mean? And though that might not be too shocking in and of itself, if you break it down by category, mm -hmm. people are still more likely to follow a reality television star than a politician. I love these random there's no numbers other than these, right? No no understanding of what's going on. Just musician, band, actor, TV, film, athlete, Kardashian, political figure, leader. Yeah, man. There's more athletes, actors, musicians, uh, and Kardashians than than political figures or leaders in the world, you know? Like, am I going to follow every fucking representative? Hell no. That's He did a poll. Depressing. According to Google, when asked which subject gets too much coverage in the news media, 40% of people said that celebrity news is the worst offender. That yeah, it drives engagement for capitalism. They're trying to go viral so that they can make money on ad revenue. You should understand this. That answer is more than... I hate the font of these numbers. That four is hideous three times as high as any other answer. Yet, even with all of this self-awareness, the public still... Trash font. Thank you, Voldron. I agree. To spend two-thirds of their... What the fuck is that font? I agree. ...time on social media and the news, paying attention to... This also looks like long and elongated. ...celebrity drama and news events. This is I'm dog I'm gonna throw shit. a bunch of links to studies and articles on parasocial delusions and relationships, but this has become a global epidemic. The parasocial issue is so much worse than everybody thinks. A study has shown that one in six people in the UK believe that their relationship is suffering because they're spending more time interacting with celebrities on social media mm -hmm. than their own partner. In 2018, failed Comic Sans. So they might, they might do that for sure. Can happen. 
One in six, huh? I can't believe that this is true, but a study has shown that at least 51% of people in the United States believe that they have some sort of interpersonal connection with a celebrity online. With a celebrity? By Time Magazine. A parasocial... So, it depends on how you define parasocial relationship. Like, do you like someone that you only know over the internet? More than 51%. Because we talk to each other over the internet. You know? What's what's a parasocial... Yeah, I would like to see what they call parasocial and a celebrity in this. I agree. What is a celebrity? Is, am I a celebrity according to this study? So that everyone in chat's in a parasocial relationship because we like each other? Like, we hang out regularly and watch stuff on YouTube together, right? Like, I don't know, man. And those are just the people willing to... You're a celebrity to me, Jake! Thank you. I couldn't, ha I mean, I could handle actual fame, but man, that would be stupid. I'm celebrating you, Jay. Thank you. Wait, is that what, ce is celebrity is someone who gets celebrated? Makes sense. Jake is a fed? I'm definitely not a fed. That's just what a fed would say. To admit it. That's the problem with things like this. It's hard to get people to admit that they would even be able to fall for something like this. To fall for something like this. What does that mean? To real so to be a fan of someone is not a parasocial relationship. A parasocial relationship. Teach me, Daddy. Thank you, Doctor Campbell. Uh, a parasocial relationship, in my opinion, is something that is uh, unhealthy. Uh, I have had people in the past, uh, without having enough rapport to talk to me, uh, in the way that they think they're going to talk to me. Uh, have tried to like invite themselves over to my house without ever fucking like we don't even have our, each other's number you know what I mean like people have been like oh yeah I'm gonna buy plane tickets and fucking come see like that's that's parasocial that's parasocial parasocial parasociality is not I like someone online and appreciate them yeah oh, yeah that's happened to me Ali would go yeah it'd be worse if I was a woman or femme yeah that person that I'm mentioning. One of one of a couple. Uh, that person that I'm mentioning was actually in the Cornifesto thing. You guys remember the Cornifesto? That person, that same person, recently, like many others, I've had about a dozen private apologies without any public apologies from any of these fucking people. But uh, about half of the psychos uh, in the uh, in that Cornifesto era have privately apologized to me. I saw Jake's cooking, and I suddenly want to go to Jake's house. That's how it works. Then you bought a plane ticket. 51% of Americans... I think Jake is distracting us from the mass shooting in Russia with Greg videos. That's exactly what's happening. Yep. ...believe that they've either created some sort of a unique bond with a celebrity. They consider a celebrity... Is that person you all super fan who appeared on a... No, never been in a video. ...their personal... Super fan? Who appeared in a video? I've never made a video with this person for sure. Friend, or they think of a celebrity in relationship terms. So that means 51% of America. Oh no, what is the Cornifesto? The Cornifesto. I did a charity stream and there were a few psycho. Well, there was one psycho in my chat that was very obsessed with me and that was very upset that I was having relationships that didn't involve her and <laughs> became pretty obsessed with. Uh, with Jake is bad. Hmm. This has happened before. Interesting. Uh, Jake doesn't fuck somebody. That person gets mad and starts to make shit up in their head. Paul's ego. No, not Paul's ego. Paul? No, not Paul. <laughs> it wasn't Paul. <laughs> yeah, stop being so appealing. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh... The Cornifesto was, I did a charity stream and uh, I said I would donate the biddies to the charity at the end of the stream and I did. Um, and they were like, where are the, where's the receipts? And so I showed them receipts. They were like, if you show us receipts of you donating, it was like $200 in biddies. I donated $200 in biddies to, it was Trans Lifeline or Mermaids. I can't remember at this point. Maybe Trans Lifeline. Uh, They're like, I'll, I'll eat crow if you prove that you donated $200 in biddies to... Trans lifeline, and then I prove it on stream, and, <laughs> and I didn't get any crow eating. That's for sure. I have gotten in the years since, uh, like literally about a dozen uh, private apologies from several of the f former psychos in that group. Yeah, there's a there's a handful of them that still are too proud. 
This will happen with Hannah shit too. I'm going to get people trickling in forever uh, on, on oh, well, you know, Hannah did this or that, and I moved out of her stuff, and then I listened to your video, or I came to your chat, and I found out, wait, actually, you're not bad. You're pretty okay. <laughs> It'll happen again. It'll happen forever. Schizo Bailey? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I mean, I, I, I'm vaguely familiar with the name. Someone who said crazy shit in that chat, right? Hope Dark Beast stays away forever. That guy's a creep. Total fucking creep. It's funny how none of us made a, a, a foil festa. Yeah, who gives a fuck foil festa? She stole my bit, man. She literally stole everything about her stream from me. It's crazy. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. The one who said that you... Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who said you groomed Sarah or a different partner. Both is what the claim was. And then brought them on stream real time and they walked everything back because they had no evidence. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That person apologized to me in that stream, but like... Yeah. Sickos, dude. All right, Greg. I'm back. I'm locked in. Americans believe that a celebrity has posted something on their Twitter or their Instagram just for them. They're oh, well... I don't believe that people do think that... How many... Wait, wait. What was the percentage of that? Or they think of a celebrity in relationship terms. So that means 51% of Americans uh -huh. believe that a celebrity has posted something no, they on their Twitter or they their don't. Instagram. I thought it was still the 51%, but I didn't know if he moved on. Just for them. Yeah, that's not true, man. 51% of people do not think that celebrities are posting for them that's not true you cannot back that up with anything that is not what this means i would love to see how they did any study and how you think this is good there are three levels of parasocial relationship uh -huh. entertainment social where a celebrity is a source of gossip or entertainment intense <laughs> so we're just calling parasociality entertainment okay so 99% of your 51% live in here if this is what you call parasocial. Everything is parasocial then. Your this is parasocial. This with your likes, these little hearts, you're contributing to parasociality. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the same shit. Entertainment social. Cool, man. Levels of parasocial relationship. Giles and Maltby in 2006, very current. Okay personal where someone feels impulsive feelings towards a celebrity right in my experience and obviously it's it's less so but even in like regular real actual celebrity experience you're looking at like a very small percentage of people that even get to intense personal right like love or even hatred and then borderline pathological most of the intense personal shit that i see is a negative one right like they get obsessed with not liking you people that like me are normal typically you know what i mean there are very few people that are like me and aren't normal like i said there's only been like a handful of people that have been fucking super weird most of them transition into like uh fuck that guy because i don't reciprocate their fucking Shit. Borderline pathological fantasies. Now, I this is essentially what I've. I mean, the the cornifesto person pathological, one hundred percent. Logical, where someone has uncontrollable fantasies or behaviors. Mm -hmm. So, if it's true that over fifty percent of Americans feel a personal connection to a celebrity through social media, then that means over half of the American population has borderline pathological parasocial delusion. That is not what this means. <laughs> that is not. So, do you see how this is bigger and this is smaller and this is even smaller? Now, there's no numbers on here, and this is like a shitty, like, Laszlo's hierarchy or something, but, like, this is not what... It does not mean 51% of them are borderline pathological. Clearly, this is the minority of parasocial relationships in in your own data that's showing up. It's crazy to make that assertion. I think you're you're actually... You're, you're pathological. You're this guy. But it's not parasocial. You're just pathological about, like, your own pursuits of, like conspiracy theory shit this is a pathology man so if you think that you this is the craziest video he's done connection to a celebrity through social media don't worry you're not crazy this is a trick that the matrix has played on everyone. the matrix 
It's like a form of digital witchcraft. Your screen God, and dude. the media has tricked you. Shake it off. It's not real. Even Forbes magazine said that influencers are the new brands back in 2016, <sighs> seven years ago. Yeah, and there's no brands anymore. Celebrities are a business pretending to be a human being. Some of them are. Mr. Beast, for instance. <laughs> Anyways, characters like Anderson Cooper on CNN uh -huh. know that they're running cover for important world events by selling us this celebrity drama garbage. <laughs> Does CNN do celebrity drama garbage a lot? I don't watch. I don't partake. These guys know what they're doing. If anyone would understand... Do you mean the media-trained people know how to... Uh, Continue to make content? Strange. Man. What's happening here? It would be the anchors that are literally telling us this news. They would know that every time something bad happens, they just tell us about celebrity drama. And then by the time the real story comes out, it happened so long ago that it's hard to create an emotional connection to the event. It's it doesn't even feel real anymore. They're intentionally waiting until their events have passed so that there's nothing you can do about it anyways. It was like a week ago when that happened. How are you supposed to fix it now they know that they're behaving as puppets of the matrix you can only report on something if it's happened already unless you know something's going to happen is the re the real story is tucker carlson i don't know when women and children are dying on the other side of the world and they're reporting on celebrity drama i don't know how they the brand wars all the deaths <laughs> can live with themselves knowing that their job is to propagandize to the public and keep them ignorant of world events and run that's what you're doing though like you're keeping your small audience ignorant of world events by obfuscating reality with like this conspiracy shit man this is unhealthy, bro. Cover for your leaders when they enact evil on the world. Now that you evil. understand these people a little bit better, you might try to compartmentalize them in your head and humanize them a bit. You know, they're famous influencers, artists that have been a big part of your life for a long time. Mm -hmm. You're still going to want to believe that they're a human being at the end of the day. Yeah, we they are. likely they're always definitely retain humans. some level of parasocial relationship with them, which is likely to keep them fairly anthropomorphic for the rest of our lives. They're not just anthropomorphic. They're, I mean, isn't that just an anthropod? That's just a human. It's a whole, whole ass person. Celebrities are real people. That's true. Maybe they didn't choose this lifestyle. Maybe they were snatched up as talent and forced against their will to be a propaganda mouthpiece. <laughs> but the craziest part is that a lot of these guys are not even real artists. They weren't tricked into doing this because they were the greatest singer of all time or the best actor that ever lived. A lot of the art that you consume is not even really them. You're allowed to like the art, but you need to know that it's not the people they show you. A lot of those voices like who? are someone else singing. Like who? I've heard people sing in real life. Like, you think like Alicia Keys is up there with the pipes and she's just not real or something? Beyonce? You think like the mega celebrity people? You think fucking Rihanna isn't singing? Come on, man. A lot of the things you watch in a film are not really those actors. Their entire world is fake. You think the actors in movies aren't really actors? Or they've replaced them with different From actors? <laughs> like Mark Ruffalo has a body double that is a better actor than Mark Ruffalo, but they still want Mark Ruffalo to be there? Is it Ruffalo? I said Ruffalo a bunch. I don't care, honestly, Mark. Their persona to their body to their talent. We don't actually know if there's a real human being underneath all of that artificial persona. <laughs> what? Are celebrities human people is the thesis of this. A lot of those people are just playing characters. They were told to act wholesome, to act like they're down to earth. You're playing a character. They're just pretending. Ultimately, we have to ask, why is the military using celebrities like this? Why are so many of them paraded around the world and used to propagandize and create a specific perception about the United States? <laughs> Mark Ruffalo? The evil Mark Ruffalo? Well, there's something I have to bring up that usually doesn't you did the thing. come up 
in normal conversations. Uh -huh. Most celebrities are related to each other. They're all part of connected families. When Nepotism is real. Whenever you bring up a conspiracy theory, one of the most common criticisms- He called it a conspiracy theory! He didn't call it a riddle? He just called what he said a conspiracy theory. It's happening! He's admitting it! First step. Perfect. ...isms you'll hear is, don't you know how many people will have to be in on it to make that work? Well, yes. They can all be in on it. <laughs> <laughs> you think these... You think you think there's a concerted effort by the American government to use Britney Spears' relationship status to obfuscate, like, fucking Gaza news and shit? Like, come on, man. Everyone's talking about it. No one is talking about Britney Spears. You are talking about Britney Spears. It's a fucking cabal. I can't deal with it, man. They are. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it's over. Oh, my God. Dude, his brain is cooked. My fucking brain is cooked now. Oh, my God, man. That This is the worst Greg video. He said some stuff, but this is, like, entirely delusional. Why was it just Britney Spears the whole time? You didn't even give evidence. He just said stuff. <laughs> He's like, look, this happened at the same... Uh, Britney Spears did something on the same day. Other stuff. Wow. Very strong connections. How is that... How is that just... <laughs> Angola, right. Correlated. Uh, I can't press play because it will just play Taylor Swift.